Welcome one and all to Mission FK. Today we are going to see about a simple program in C++ using OOPS concept. That is, I am going to use a class. For example, let me let me write a program in Ubuntu 8.04 using VA editor. Let us name the class program as class CPP. It's often good to use insert in the VA command to begin with. To start a program, we often need to write the header file. After the header file, here we are using a special names function called using namespace std. This will avoid using the scope resolution operator for each and every time. So as a whole, we are using here. Now let's go to the concept of OOPS. OOPS is nothing but object-oriented programming system. It will be covered very well in lectures and our fellow videos in YouTube. <coughs> so to begin with, I just started in a class. A class, I'm just going to add two numbers. So I'm just creating a class called class add. <coughs> opening and closing braces. There is a difference between structure of C and class concept of C++. Here, everything is by default private. For example, I am def I'm defining two with three variables here. If I left it this, by default, <coughs> it is private by default. And But when you are calling about this when you are calling about the functions it should be noted by public classes if you are giving public classes only we can write there are two types we should include two types we should include in classes that is data member and data function here it is called as member data <coughs> similarly I am just using a member function I can use any return type in the member function. For example, I'm using void get to get the data for adding the two numbers. And I'm going to use that in a variable called C. In the void get, <coughs> I'm just getting the value values. For example, enter the value of A. Enter the value A and to get that value we should use C in C in is an operator which is used to get the value where I get the variable A here similarly I am using for class B also and the VA editor if you use press the second button <coughs> it will just copy the entire thing which we selected no need to control no need to use this control C or control V here so I just completed one member function. As I said before, there are two things in two things to be considered inside the class. One is member data, and then the second one is member function. There can be how much there can be as many types of member data and member functions can be included. Here I am going to use two member functions. Void get. Now I want to display that data I am getting. So I am using a member function called void put. Now, I am just summing up, doing the actual operation, mathematic operation inside the variable a c and I want to display that variable. That is simple. The sum is c. Now you should, you can, you may wonder what's the difference between using a normal program and this. We are calling using objects. To know about, to appreciate this class concept, you should wait until I write the main program. Here I made a mistake, you should note it before, that I should open and close every function individually. And to close the class entirely, I should use a colon after the break of closing braces. Now I am using a main function to represent that. Main function to represent that. <coughs> See, as you want to appreciate the both classes, you want to declare the class 
name along with an object name here I'm using at a so now you can call the two functions which you have created in the main inside the class for example I'm just calling a dot get and a dot put and you can close the brains now let's check what the result for this program <coughs> to check the program you want to run through G++ compiler see I have a lot of uh, errors through it let us rectify one by one what I mentioned this errors may be unknowingly but it should be useful for you to understand for example we should give a private asset I said by default it will be private but to call we need a public so using member function you should give a public access over here now let's check how much it is rectified yeah In <coughs> we just noted about 13th number there is an error to know that we should give set number so we can pinpoint in the 13th position see I have left an arrow here it will help me to rectify that I should use a token before that right 20 again I'm using the set number Wow, I just missed it. Oops, I missed this. Hope it will be correct now. Good. We just got the result. To execute the result, we should use a dot out. I'm entering the value for a and for b. And we got the sum as 23. That's fine. That's for further reading. 